The third tool after the developments icon is the structural member. Here you are able to start working with the developments. Let's click on that. Structural member, you have the standards. You have the NC inch or the ISO. I'm going to use the ISO and you have many different types. You have the C channel, L channel and so on. All these structural members and in the size. So let's first select the angle iron and select the first you the group and when you come to group you're going to select which group you're going to apply your well been set so when you are clicking on them then you are done okay so let's zoom into it you can have a look which type you already selected Let's uh, uh, edit the feature and change the type. We have the same group selected. Let's select the C channel. Okay, so the C channel didn't work. Let's add the size first, then now you are there. So here you have your C channel type. And again, let's have a look on. The second or third time you have the custom and you have five size you have a different size also in you are able to add your customized sizes if you want uh, that is depending on the license you have if you are able to get it in the sort of works setting so here you have this type this edit try the rectangular tube this one which I was looking for and here you have the different types let's select this type now you have this set so when you are done with selecting you created these full main structures and you can also add another group let's either to add a new group by again selecting this instruction member icon let's make it five here size select and then select the new group we want which are the legs okay so we have two set of groups we have the pipes and then we have the structure member but as you can look maybe you need more working or adjusting to the corners and the shape how they would look so that we're going to talk about in the next tutorial